Teen Trojan prospects put their talents on display for 23 NFL scouts today at their pro day this afternoon at the vet for these former Trojans. It was a day that was all about showing the world what they're made of. It's crazy, you know, been here for, like you said, six years, had some good times, two championships on this field, but it was awesome coming back out here one, one more time with the guys that I left out of here with. Our, our, our uh, motto just the past couple days has been just go out here and have fun. So I think we did that, and I think everybody showcased their showcase what they could do. Watson was one of many Trojans the scouts didn't get the chance to see at the NFL scouting combine, but one Trojan that was there was Kamani Vidal. He had a standout performance in Indy and scouts have taken notice. It's kind of funny because a lot of guys will, a lot of the scouts will say, I can't find anything uh, like wrong with you. Like, you don't, you don't do anything wrong. So, uh, you know, it's a good, uh, good thing to have. I'm feeling great. Uh, you know, I did everything possible. I feel like I did everything to the best of my ability. Um, now I just sit back and kind of just watch everything uh, unfold. The other Trojan who's at the NFL scouting combine was Javon Solomon. He beat his mark of 23 bench press reps with 27 today on his home equipment, but a big part of his day was pushing his brothers to be their best. I'm, I'm always a team first uh, type of guy, you know, like I've been with these guys. I've been with Buddha for almost eight years. I knew Buddha back since we was almost in middle school going to high school. I've been this relationship I done built with Richard and AJ along the way just it's just um, meaningful. So, you know, it's easy to cheer for guys like when you've been with them for five years plus and you know their story, you know their struggles, you know their background, you know where they come from and you know what they want to achieve. So being able to put, be able to, to cheer them on, to say let's go, to push them. I've been there for five years, so I'm just, I'm just carrying a torch. Solomon's partner in crime in the pass rusher group, Richard Juvenile, was excited to see his guy perform. That boy is insane. Came into the bench and just skyrocketed and went insane. You know, he's, he's, he's definitely a very good player, not just a good player. He's an all-around athlete. You know, a athlete like him, you know, strong and dead, could dunk a basketball like crazy and grab you like a freaking tennis ball. It was love, you know, being able to come together and play one more time. Hey, it was a blessing, man. Jim Noor also got the chance to put his talents on display, and he did not disappoint recording personal best in every drill. It's been a little bit stressful, fun the whole time, you know. Since we got done with uh, our board game last season, we had to go back to training in January, and that's all we've been in our mind and everything has been on. It's like this day, today, 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 and it's like every day you wake up, we've been training and just grinding, going through the whole process, and being able to finally come out here and showcase what we had and what we've been fighting for and training for the whole time. And PR, having a PR in almost everything, I think that was, that, was a, that was a great feeling, and I'm so excited right now. At last, I feel like a big weight lifted out my shoulder, you know. Now it's waiting time here for the men of Troy looking towards the NFL draft on April 25th to see if their efforts yield the results that they've been working for.